right here in Elko with you. Thousands and thousands of proud, hardworking American patriots. I'm thrilled to be right here in Elko with you. Thousands and thousands of proud, hardworking American patriots. In just 17 days, the people of Nevada are going to re-elect Senator Dean Heller to protect your jobs, defend your borders, and to continue making America great again. That's what we're doing. Early voting starts today, so you got to get out. This is truly an amazing time for our country. The unemployment rate just fell to the lowest level in more than 50 years. More Americans are working today than at any time in our history. Think of that. More people are working in our country today than at any point in the history of our country. That's not bad. How do you lose an election with that stat, right? That's a, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Here in Nevada, personal incomes have reached an all-time Hi, congratulations. Spend your money well. America now has the hottest economy anywhere in the world. Think of that. We're the number one economy in the world. We're the hottest economy in the world. It's amazing. Amazing. Pretty amazing, right? A couple of years ago, we were looked upon as being laggards. They're laggards. I read that word with one of the fake news folks. They wrote the word, we're laggards. Do you notice the good location they got? They're so close. And look, all those people standing behind, they can't see. I'd rather have it the other way around, frankly. We're taking care of our veterans and our military will soon be more powerful than it ever has been ever, ever, ever before. And under Republican leadership, America is booming, America is thriving, and America is winning because we are finally putting America first. Just last week, we achieved another historic victory for the American people in a beautiful ceremony. Thank you, sir. But you know what I say, but he's just not my type. <laughs> Thank you. We had a beautiful ceremony in the White House where we proudly swore in the newest member of the United States Supreme Court, Justice Brett Kavanaugh. He now sits alongside Justice Neil Gorsuch to defend your rights, your constitution, and your God-given freedom. What the radical Democrats did to Justice Kavanaugh and his beautiful family is a national disgrace. It is. The Democrat Party has become an angry, ruthless, unhinged mob determined to get power by any means necessary. Your vote in this election will decide which party controls Congress. The choice for every American could not be more clear. And by the way, I have to thank Dean Heller for helping us with Justice Gorsuch and Justice Kavanaugh. Dean Heller was there. Dean Heller was there right from the beginning. So Democrats produce mobs, Republicans produce jobs. That's become hashtag. Right? That's called hashtag. That's a new hashtag. That's a hot one. This November, vote for jobs, not mobs. If Nancy Pelosi, crying Chuck Schumer, and the radical Democrats take over Congress, which would be a shame, 
They will try to plunge our country into a nightmare of gridlock, poverty, and chaos. And by the way, your 401ks, boom. They'll go down like a sinking something. What sinks rapidly? Give me a rock. They'll go down like a rock. Democrats want to massively raise your taxes. Impose socialism on our country. We'll be another Venezuela. They want to take away your health care, destroy your Second Amendment. And I think the people in Nevada are not big on having your Second Amendment taken away. Not a big point. That's not a good soundbite, but how do they win an election? Do we really have an election here? No, think of it. They want to take away your Second Amendment. They want to raise your taxes. They want to open your borders, let people in illegally. And then they want to pay for those people for health care, for education. They want to give them cars. They want to give them driver's licenses. I said last night, we did a great, we did a great, great rally in Arizona last night, and I said, I said last night, what kind of car will they supply them? Will it be a Rolls Royce? <laughs> the Democrats want to throw open your borders to deadly drugs and gangs and anybody else that wants to come in. And they really have. And I say this, and at first I used to say, wow, that's a tough statement, but it's true. Democrats are the party of crime. This will be the election of Kavanaugh, the caravan, law and order, tax cuts, and common sense. We got you those big, those big tax cuts. Don't forget the big tax cuts, and we're going to get you more. The Democrat Party has become too extreme and too dangerous to be trusted with the power that they want. I need everyone here today to cast your vote, ideally today. How about raising your right hand? Do you promise you will leave this site, go out and cast your vote right now? And hopefully you'll vote for Adam Laxalt, and hopefully you'll vote for Dean Allen. Get out there. But you do, you have early voting, and you can go out and do it today, and that way you don't have to wait. And you know, a big portion of your state does do early voting, which is surprising, very unusual. But you're a very unusual state, right? <laughs> So when you leave, we really uh, hope that you can volunteer, give you directions. We have volunteers all over the place, so give you directions. We have places right down the road, so go out and do what you have to do. Yeah. We're going to have a big victory. We have to have a big victory. This state is really one of the states that's talked about. This is a great race. It's an exciting race. He's running against Wacky Jackie, right? Wacky Jackie. That's what we need. We need a wacky Jackie in uh, Congress. Another one. We're honored to be joined today by your next governor, Adam Laxalt. Where is Adam? Is Adam here? Where is Adam? He's around. Come up here, Adam. He's a great guy. I've known Adam for a long time. He's a veteran, he's a patriot, and he's a real leader, but he is a great, great person. Adam, you gotta win, Adam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, are we motivated? Are we grateful for the president coming here to Elko? The president cares about rural Nevada. He knows how important you all are, how important that we keep the economy going. He has helped bring Elko to 3% unemployment. How about that? We have to keep this momentum going, and we have a clear choice for this state. Are we going to keep Nevada, the Nevada we all love, this independent western state? Or are we going to turn into California? We're not going to let that happen, are you? No. We need everybody. We need everybody to be extra motivated. We need to support the president, and we need to support Republicans up and down the ticket. God bless you guys. Thanks so much. He's doing really well, but you got to go out and you got to vote. You got to.
His opponent is a far left Democrat, you know that, who wants to massively raise your taxes. He wants to raid your health care. He wants to fund socialism because that's what it is. And he wants to open your borders wide open. Other than that, he's a great guy. So everybody needs to get out and vote today, ideally, but sometime before the six for Adam Laxalt. And everybody also needs to support your great congressman, Mark Amoday. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Thank you, Mark. He is a great guy and another great guy who I said, stay home, Danny. Stay home, Danny, and just work. Danny Tarkanian, he is a great guy. So you don't get a chance over here to vote for him. So you know what I said? Don't come, Danny. Just stay in your district. But Danny was really great. He's been great. He's been a great friend of ours for a long time. Danny Tarkanian. Going to be a great congressman. Hopefully he gets over the line because we need him. Finally, I'm thrilled to introduce a man that I spent a long time getting to know. At first, I fought him. I said, this guy's tough. What's the story here? Don't forget, I haven't been doing this so long, right? <laughs> you know. Some of these guys, the senator came into my office, or a politician, and he said how he's had tremendous victory at the ballot booth. He's trying to convince me to do something. This isn't Dean, somebody else. He said, I've been in seven races, and sir, I won five of them. And I said, yeah, I've been in one race, and I've won one. And it was the presidency. And it was the presidency. It was the presidency, and we'll have one more race. Let's win that one. I'll say I'm two for two, and then let somebody else have fun. Then somebody else will have some fun, right? <laughs> but I got to know Dean very well, and I'll tell you, once we understood each other, and he's a tough guy, and he's a smart guy, and he loves this state a lot. Once we really got to know each other and understand, there's no better partner that I had in Washington, Dean Heller. And he's a fantastic guy with an incredible family, wife, who I just, uh, we just flew in together. But uh, when it came to tax cuts, there was nobody tougher, there was nobody smarter. When it came to all of the things we're doing, including what we're doing, we got rid of the individual mandate, which is the worst, most unpopular thing from Obamacare. We actually had Obamacare totally repealed and replaced. We couldn't get one Democrat vote, not one, and we repealed. But now, if you notice, your premiums are way, way down. Nobody thought that was possible. And it's been very much dismantled, but it'll be ultimately totally dismantled. We had it done. We were a little disappointed in one vote, uh, but we, uh, we were also disappointed that we didn't get one Democrat vote in the Senate. But a man that, you're right, what do you expect? The one thing they're good at, I'll tell you what, they're lousy politicians, they have horrible policy. Think of this, you're running for office and your policy is raise taxes and open borders and crime, because basically it's crime. How do you win an election? How do you do it? So uh, the, the one thing they do, they obstruct, and you know their whole campaign, you know what I'm saying? Resist. See, ours is called Make America Great Again, right? Very soon, we keep going like we're going, sooner than we thought, it's going to be Keep America Great. That'll be for the second four years. Keep America Great. And you know what theirs is? Theirs is resist. Resist. What do you think of that? Resist. How do you figure that? Resist. Isn't that an inspiring? We are going to resist. What are you going to resist? Anything. Anything. But I want to introduce a man that really has done a fantastic job. I'll tell you it's true. Once he started, once we were on the same page, and we are now always on the same page, he has been as strong and tough and smart as anybody in Washington. we got to send him back. We need him badly. Senator Dean Heller.
President Trump, thank you for coming to Elko. Welcome to Trump com country. Home of the home of the Elko Indians. Home of the Spring Creek Spartans. And designated best small town in America. Mr. President, this is not the swamp. Now, Mr. President, you know a little bit about gold. In fact, I think everything you touch turns to gold. The mines here in Elko and next door to Eureka County produce more coal, more gold here than anywhere else in the country. Welcome to gold country. Now, Mr. President, I had a debate last night. The only reason I had that debate is because you embarrassed my opponent into having it. He came to Las Vegas and said, Jackie Rosen will not debate Dean Heller. Two days later, she agreed to a debate. Mr. President, thank you. Now, I want to have a debate in Reno. And she said no. I said, I want to have a debate here in Elko. And she said no. She will only campaign in Las Vegas. So let me tell you what the message is. If you're a Republican, if you're a Democrat, or you're an Independent, you don't live in Las Vegas, you are written off. That's the message. So here's the point. Here's the point. We're going to work hard. We're going to move this country forward. This president is doing a great job. Early voting, early voting starts today. Let's send a message to the Rosen campaign that we want a senator for all of Nevada. Someone who will fight for Las Vegas. Someone who will fight for Reno. Someone who will fight for Elko. My heart is right here in Nevada. That's where my heart is. My voice and your voice is together with mine in Washington, D.C. Mr. President, thank you for making America work again. Thank you. Mr. and Mrs. Heller, thank you very much. Thank you, Senator. And by the way, they did debate last night, and I may be a little bit partial. He really beat her badly, that I will say. He beat her very badly. And, you know, the other thing they don't tell you about Wacky Jackie, but I know because I see where her money's all coming from, like, Los Angeles and New York. It's not coming from here. It's coming from New York and Los Angeles. She's not getting the money from here. He gets his money from here. He gets his drive and his energy from here also. So Dean delivers and every single day he delivers for our workers and our families, our veterans, our miners. He's delivering. Our miners, we love the miners. Look at that. Whoa. A lot of miners. We love our miners. Dean worked tirelessly to pass VA choice, VA accountability. You know, 44 years they've been trying to pass these things, choice, so that a veteran is sick. He gets on line. He's got to wait forever. He's got to wait forever, days, weeks, months. And we just passed, after 44 years, we just got it passed. I signed it two months ago, Veterans Choice, so that if they have to wait online for 12 days or 14 days or 32 days, or much longer than that, can you believe it? People are sick, but not bad. By the time they see the doctor, they're terminally ill.
Okay, could have been solved. They go immediately to see a doctor privately. We pay for their bill. They're fixed. Frankly, it's not what I'm doing it for. We save money, if you can believe this. It's good. We go right to a private doctor. If they have a long wait, they go right to a private doctor. And 44 years, they couldn't get that one passed. And you know, VA accountability, because frankly of the unions and because of civil service, 46 years, VA accountability. They treat our veterans badly, you can't do anything. They're sadistic. We had that too. I tell you what, they wouldn't have been sadistic when that veteran was A-OK, because they wouldn't have had a shot at it, right? Not when the veteran was okay, but they took advantage and they had a lot of things they did wrong. You couldn't do a thing. You couldn't fight. They could steal. They could cheat. They could actually be sadistic, horrible to our veterans. And now we just look at them and we say, get your ass out of here. You're fired. pretty good at getting things approved. We're pretty good at getting things approved. You know, in the VA choice, I thought it was like a genius thing I thought of. Because I heard they were waiting so long, months sometimes, to see a doctor and waiting online. Can you imagine? Even if you have something minor, that a pill, a prescription, something easy could do. And by the way, drug prices are going to be coming down. You see it all right. But I thought it was so brilliant. I came back to my group. I said, I got the greatest idea because I haven't been doing this that long. So, you know, I, it wasn't like high on my list, but it became high. I did know the veterans were never treated fairly, but I said, I have the greatest idea. We're going to do this. If a veteran has to wait, we're going to send them to a private doctor. We'll pay the bill. What a genius. I said, I said, how good is that? They said, sir, we've been trying to get it passed for 44 years. So I was good at getting things passed. That's what I did. A vote for Wacky Jackie is a vote to hand control of Congress to Nancy Pelosi, Brian Chuck Schumer, and of course, the legendary Maxine Waters. A low IQ individual. Jackie votes against the people of Nevada every chance she gets. She voted no on tax cuts. No on better health care, no on border security, and Jackie voted in favor of deadly sanctuary cities. I don't think we like sanctuary cities up here. By the way, a lot of people in California don't want them either. They're rioting now. They want to get out of their sanctuary cities. You know, there's a big turn being made, folks. A lot of these sanctuary cities you've been hearing about in California and other places, but California, they want to get out. They're demanding they be released from sanctuary cities. Jackie also joined the Democrat assault on Justice Brett Kavanaugh. And don't forget that when you vote. Well, see, that's why I want you to vote today, because you definitely won't forget. But don't forget... And we stuck with Justice Kavanaugh because he was the right man. Yeah. Top of his class at Yale, Yale Law School. Never had a problem until he was attacked by these vicious people that knew what they were doing was wrong. And we did the right thing. If you want to stop the radical Democrat mob, from taking control of Congress, then you need to go out today, ideally, and vote for Dean Heller and Adam Laxalt and others that you like, but you got to get them in. Danny Tarkanian, get Danny in. Danny deserves to be in. Democrats in Congress have already signed up for a socialist takeover of health care that would eliminate the private insurance of 1.6 million people from Nevada. The Democrats want America to become, it's not even that they want it, but that's what's gonna happen. Venezuela, Venezuela, how does that sound? You like Venezuela? That's a wonderful place, not doing too well, folks.
The Democrat plan would destroy Medicare and terminate Medicare Advantage for almost 200,000 Nevada seniors who depend on it. Democrats plan to kill Medicare Advantage. And really, it's especially unfair to Hispanic Americans. Do we have many Hispanic Americans here? Not the most. We've done better. Not the most. I give it 5%. That's okay. But I just left a place where it was 45%. But they're happy in every other way because you know what? Lowest unemployment numbers they've ever had. One out of every two Hispanic seniors is enrolled in Medicare Advantage. Republicans want to protect Medicare for our great seniors who have earned it and they've paid for it. They've actually, you know, they have paid for it. And Republicans will always protect Americans with pre-existing conditions. And the senator, as much as anybody, the senator's going to do that. He's been doing that. The new platform of the Democrat Party is radical socialism and open borders, which leads to crime, tremendous crime. As we speak, the Democrat Party, you know, I used to, everybody used to call it the Democratic Party. It's not the name. And it reads so much nicer, you know, it sounds better. They ought to actually, I'll give them a little hint, they should change their name to the Democratic Party. But I call it the Democrat Party because that's what it is. It's called the Democrat Party. I watch where they're saying the Democratic Party. Usually, in many, ca in many cases, those are people that want to make it look as good as possible. But it is, it's the Democrat Party, which doesn't read well. The other reads better, but we're going to call it the Democrat Party. And it's openly inviting millions of illegal aliens to break our laws, violate our borders, and overwhelm our nation. The Democrats want caravans. They like the caravans. A lot of people say, I wonder who started that caravan. And I want to thank Mexico. Mexico has been so incredible. Thank you, Mexico, and the leaders of Mexico. Thank you. And you know why? Because now Mexico respects the leadership of the United States. They haven't done this. They now respect our leadership. Thank you, Mexico. Great. We appreciate it. We do. But what they want is, we are, and by the way, the wall, the people scream. So we started the wall. It's moving along. I want to build it rapidly. I can do it in a year. We did 1.6 billion, 1.6 billion. We have another 1.6, sounds like a lot of money. When you're going for almost a thousand miles, it's not that much, but the wall is moving. I want to do it in one year. I want them to approve the wall. The Democrats don't care about what their extremist immigration agenda will do to your communities, to your hospitals. What about your hospitals and to your schools? The Democrats don't care that a flood of illegal immigration will bankrupt our country. You saw the site. Did anybody see that bridge over the weekend? Did you see the bridge yesterday, today? I mean, is, is that an incredible situation? It's sad. And it's sad, honestly, it's sad from both sides. It's sad from their side also. We're going to figure it out. I'll be honest with you. I've already figured it out. You're going to be happy. We're going to make a lot of people happy. We're going to make a lot of people happy. Think I'll keep it a little bit low key until the election. I like where we stand in the election. You know, I think that blue wave is being rapidly shattered. You know, all the Democrats want is power, and they got this blue wave deal going. Not looking like a blue wave. I think Dean Heller's going to win here. I think Martha McSally, she was great last night. She's going to win. She's going to win. I think I just visited the great state of Big Sky. You know what Big Sky is? Just left. And I'll tell you what, they're going to win. They're going to win in Montana. We're going to win all over. I think we're going to win in Indiana. I think we're going to win Josh. I think we're going to win in Missouri. 
I think Rick Scott's going to win in the great state of Florida. You're going to have a great governor in Florida. You know who our governor is, right? He's going to be. Right? You know who I'm talking about. He's going to be fantastic in Florida. We have a lot of big Ron. We call him Ron. Harvard, Yale, smart. Ron DeSantis. He's going to be a great governor of Florida. Just like Adam. Adam Laxalt is going to be a great governor for you. You need it. You need it. And you know, you really do. You need people that can work with Washington. Because you take a lot out of Washington. And you need people that we look forward to working with. Not people that we have no respect for. This is why Democrats on the border have such bad concepts. Catch and release. You know what that is? They catch... They get them. And then they say, oh, goodbye. Release him. And you know what happens to that person? He gets released into our country, into our society. That's why Democrats want to give illegal aliens free welfare and free health care. That's why Democrats want to give illegal immigrants the right to vote. Tell you, we'll go down fighting for that one. Can you imagine? People, you know, the vote was always so sacred. Now you see these things where they want the right to vote. They want the right to vote. There's one town in California where they want to take over the illegal immigrants, want to take over the control of the board that runs the town. All illegal immigrants. It is, and you know, you would think they're kidding. Uh, seriously, would you even believe this? And they are serious. And I know some people, and they're serious people, they're smart people. Where, what happened to them? What's going on? And that's why Democrats, they want to abolish ICE. Think about that one. So ICE, these are great patriots, great people, great law enforcement. They're tough. They have to be tough. You see what they're dealing with? I'm not going to send you or you. I'm not going to send you. They have to be. I'll, yeah, I'll send you. I might send you. I might send her. They saw you. I won't tell you what they're thinking if they saw you. I think if they saw you, they'd be happy. Very, very happy. But these are people that are tough people we're dealing with. These aren't... I got criticized for using the word babies. One of the newscasts said, who used the word babies? I'm trying to figure, is that politically incorrect? I said, these aren't babies, right? These are tough people. And all of a sudden... Why did he use the term babies? I said, don't tell me that's politically incorrect. <laughs> last night, last night in Arizona, we had, you never saw so many people. I said, I want to thank the great men that are here. And I want to thank the beautiful women, everyone, beautiful everyone. And I said, ah, I better apologize. Because if I don't, for calling you all beautiful. Because if I don't apologize, they will go wild tomorrow. Headlines, Donald Trump called women beautiful. They're all saying, please call me beautiful. <laughs> it is a crazy phenomenon that's going on. But you know what, women? You are beautiful. To me, you're beautiful. Every one of you is beautiful. Everyone. Tomorrow, headlines, Trump in Nevada. It was terrible what he said. No, I'm telling you, these people have lost their way. They've, they've gone loco. Headed by the crowd of fake news back there, I will say. I'll tell you, honestly, the single greatest ally that the Democrats have is the fake news media. Because without that, these crazy ideas, I can't believe they'd go anywhere. You know, if I had the media on my side... And with what we've accomplished, because nobody's done more than all of us, nobody's done more in the first two years, and we're not even at two years yet, but nobody has done anything close. If they were on my side, instead of always everything is, they'll take a big victory, try and make it into a loss. They're very dishonest people. If they were on my side, I think I'd be at 100% right now. You know, 100%. I really believe it. <laughs> they have breaking news. President Trump, his approval rating has just hit 100%. 100%. A lot of truth. 
I mean, look at the economy. Look at North Korea. We were going to war with North Korea. It's going to be, now look at it. It's going to be fine. Going to be fine. Take your time. Going to be fine. No missile shot. We got our hostages back. Hey, look at Pastor Brunson. Look at Pastor Brunson. We got Pastor Brunson back. We got 20 back since I'm there. And, uh, you know, I won't go into it. But we got to back the right way. We got to back the right way. Pastor Brunson just came back. It was such a beautiful, he was with his family, most beautiful children, great wife, everything. And uh, it was a beautiful thing. We got Pastor Brunson back. He was, he was taken during the Obama administration years. And they never came close. And I said, you know, got to have him back. Got to have him back. I'm sorry. We got to have him back. We got him back. He's home. He's home. Nice man. The casualties in the Democrats' open borders crusade are really a lot, far more than anybody would know, of innocent American families and lives. Democrat immigration policies allow poisonous drugs and MS-13 killers to pour into our country. These are not people that you don't want to have ice around. ICE goes into these nests, you know their nests, MS, they take home a nest. They go into the nest like ho-hum, it's a day in the office. You understand? Because I'm telling you, you guys, even the tough guys here, you don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. <laughs> She's done it, she said. <laughs> if you did it, you didn't do it by choice. Uh, she said, no, I didn't. What's this story all about? I want to find out about this story. Come on up here. No, I'm kidding. And the Democrats sanctuary cities release, and this is what happens. They release violent predators out of jail and straight into your communities, and then they're protected. These are protected people. A Democrat victory in November would be a bright flashing invitation to every human trafficker, drug trafficker, think of it. But think of it, human trafficking is the highest it's ever been in the history of this world. Can you imagine? Because of the internet. You know, you wouldn't think human trafficking. They steal people. They traffic people. And that is a massive business because of the internet, the computers, the co wonderful computer age, right? Maybe it was better the other way, right? Maybe. But then you wouldn't have that real Donald Trump. That wouldn't be so good, right? But, but think of it, human trafficking is worse than it's ever been, okay? Worse than it's ever been. And you would think that would be impossible. Who would even think about this? But drug trafficking, drug dealing, illegal aliens all over the planet, and we are stopping it. A Republican victory will send the message that America will enforce our borders and defend our citizens. That's what we want. This is your choice in November. Can you believe it's almost two years? Or can you believe that? Remember that beautiful November 8th. Don't get that confused. Don't get that confused with November 6th. I'll just mention it one more time, November 8th. Was that a great, great? Uh, that was the greatest political movement in the history of our country, maybe anywhere. And they never questioned me on that. You know, they want to. Because, you know, they'd say, I'd like to give them a Pinocchio, four Pinocchios. They never questioned me on that. Look, watch. Was that the greatest single political movement in the history of our country? Peter! Peter! Yes, Peter Deuce! The great Peter Deuce! There is no doubt who his father is. Look at him. Peter Peter, was this the greatest political movement in history? Don't answer it. That was All right, good to have you all. We're having a good time. Democrats believe illegal border crosses should be set free immediately. Republicans believe illegal border crosses have to be brought back home immediately. Democrats believe our country should be a sanctuary for criminal aliens. Republicans believe our country should be a sanctuary for law-abiding Americans. Democrats believe American taxpayers should provide 
free welfare to illegals. Republicans believe welfare should be protected for truly needy Americans. If you want to save your country, if you want to protect your family, if you want to defend America's laws, borders, sovereignty, and even your dignity, then you have to go out today and vote. You got to go out and vote. Now, if you're thinking about voting Democrat, don't go out today and vote. Don't go. I would say there may be, for the media, no Democrats in this audience, would you say? Is there anybody here that wants to vote Democrat? Seriously. A lot of people. Now, the press never shows how many people, you know. They show, like, my face. And they never leave. And I'll say to my wife, Melania, is she doing a great job as first lady? <laughs> I'll say to my wife, honey, you should have seen the crowd. It was unbelievable. I mean, we had in Missouri 45,000 people that couldn't get into a 10,000 seat arena because it was packed. And I said, did they show the crowd? No. All they do is they keep it right here. They never move it around. I wish you'd move the cameras around. <laughs> Just move it around. And this is Elko. Pretty amazing. Amazing. Pretty amazing. And by the way, Joe Biden is in Las Vegas. Joe. Sleepy Joe Biden. We call him 1% Joe. Because he ran at least twice. I think three times. They say twice. I think he ran three times. And he never had more than 1%. So we call him 1% Joe, and then, uh, remember what happened? And then Obama came along and took him off of the trash heap and made him vice president. But he never had more than 1%. So we call him either Sleepy Joe Biden or 1%. Which is better? Sleepy Joe? Sleepy Joe. Oh, no, she said Creepy Joe. Not Creepy, sleepy. Creepy. She said, creepy Joe. I... No, I would never do that. I would never insult him like that. I... She said she's only kidding. I would never insult But listen to this. So we have a lot of people. And we have six, 7,000 people over here that couldn't get in. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. Biden, they just said the count. 193 people showed up. And we love Elko, but in all fairness, it is easier to draw a crowd in Las Vegas. Do we agree? We want to be here, but it is, right? Yeah, he had 193 people. And he was thrilled. That's one of the biggest crowds he's ever had. This election is also about prosperity. In less than two years, we have created over 4.2 million new jobs and lifted over 4 million Americans off of food stamps. Hispanic American household income has reached an all-time high. Hispanic American poverty has reached an all-time historic low. Hispanic American unemployment has reached its lowest rate ever recorded in history. African American and Asian American unemployment have reached their lowest rates ever recorded in history. And women's unemployment just fell to 3.6%, which is still the same best number in 65 years. I can't get rid of that number. I can't get rid of that number. I want it to be in history, and I can't. I'm sorry, women. I apologize. The women have the best number in 65 years, and I have to apologize. Because African-American and Hispanic and Asian, it's history. Women, it's only in 65 years. You know what? Remember they used to say two years ago, he'll never get the women's vote. I got the women's vote. I got the women's vote. And look at all the women's signs, Peter. Look at all those signs, Peter. Look. Women for Trump. I'll tell you what. I think women like me more now than they did two years ago. I because they want safety, they want security, they want their husband and themselves to have great 401ks, right? 
Remember, you're going to pay a big price if you vote for somebody else because what's going to happen, it's going to be cut down big. Remember I told you. You're going to say, what the hell is happening to our 401k as it does a big nosedive? And I'm talking 50, 60, 70 percent. Those are the numbers we're talking about, okay? Because when I took over, this place was heading south. If we didn't free up the regulations that were strangling our country, if we didn't do the tax cuts, and I think maybe the regulations are the most important, people don't see it, but we opened up hundreds of thousands of jobs right away. The only reason to vote Democrat is if you are tired of winning. Every day we are living by our motto, promises made, promises kept, right? It's even better than that. Earlier this month, I announced that we are replacing the horrible NAFTA deal with the incredible brand new U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement. The USMCA is a tremendous victory for Nevada farmers and ranchers and for all farmers and ranchers and everybody for manufacturers. It's fantastic. And, and I'll tell you what, again, Mexico is treating us differently. They're treating us with respect. And part of that is the relationship we developed with Mexico and with Canada in making this deal. NAFTA was a disaster. Millions and millions of jobs were lost to NAFTA. And, and to this day, that thing should have been terminated two weeks after it was signed. It was. It was obsolete, and they made mistakes, and they never even corrected the mistakes. We lived with them for 25 years. So we've taken the toughest ever action to crack down on China's abusive trade practices. We're doing very well. And Republicans passed the biggest package of tax cuts and reforms in American history. We have taken, and that's Dean Heller was right at the front. We have taken bold action to reduce the price of prescription drugs. We have launched a historic effort to combat the opioid, where I know you have a big problem here, the opioid epidemic, signing the largest bill focused on fighting opioid addiction and fighting the spread of opioid all over this country, largest in American history. Last year, we had $6 billion in our budget. By the way, is that sun hot or what? Man, I'm saying, I'm saying it. This wasn't part of the game. I'll, get it. I'll, end up, I'll end up with a nice tan. That's okay. We secured $700 billion and $716 billion for our military. Our military will soon be the strongest it has ever been in the history of our country. And we gave our warriors the largest pay raise in almost a decade, our warriors, our military. And at my direction, the Pentagon is now working to create the sixth branch, and Dean is helping, but it's been very popular. I may even get Democrat votes, can you believe that? Sixth branch, because this is where it's at. The American Armed Forces, sixth branch, it's called the Space Force. Space Force. I withdrew the United States from the horrible one-sided Iran nuclear deal. It was a catastrophe. And we have recognized the capital of Israel and opened the American embassy in Jerusalem. Together we have made extraordinary progress, but we are just getting started. We have to get some more Republican votes. You know, they always say we have the majority. Our majority is like this. I say some, if somebody has a cold and they can't come in, we lose the majority. So we have to wait till they get better. We need more Republicans in D.C. If you vote to elect a Republican House and a Republican Senate, we will continue to cut your taxes, to cut regulations, and to raise your incomes like we've been doing. Your incomes have gone way up. We will protect Medicare, and we will protect your Social Security. And remember, when I was on that stage, I was the only one that said, I'm going to protect your Social Security. And I have. And you've heard a lot of talk from a lot of people about Social Security. You never heard it from 
Donald J. Trump. Because the Democrats will end up destroying them both. Medicare, Social Security. We will defend the Second Amendment. And there is a tremendous amount of pressure being put right now on your Second Amendment. We will defend it. You don't have to worry about that. Protect your right to free speech and religious liberty. And we will continue to confirm judges who will interpret the Constitution as written. We will fully secure the border. We will pass Kate's law. We will stop sanctuary cities. We will stop catch and release and the visa lottery catastrophe and the chain migration catastrophe. And we will keep the drug dealers the hell out of our country. We will lift millions of our citizens from welfare to work from dependence to independence, and from poverty to prosperity. For years you watched as your leaders apologized for America. Now you have a president who is standing up for you and for America. We are standing up for your values. We are standing up for Nevada. And we are proudly standing up for our national anthem. But to continue this incredible moment, to protect your state and your country, you need to vote Republican. You have to do it. Go out today and vote. Dean Heller, Adam Laxalt, go out and vote. A vote for Republicans is a vote for more jobs, for more wealth, for more products made right here. Remember the old days? Made in the USA. That's happening again. Made in the USA. It's a vote to respect our laws and respect the heroes of law enforcement. Thank you, law enforcement. Thank you. A vote for Republicans is a vote to reject the Democrat politics of hatred, anger, and division, and to celebrate the greatness and the glory of being American. Yeah. Loyal citizens like you help build this country, and together we are taking back our country, returning power to you, the American people. And when you see me tomorrow, and you'll say, oh, isn't that so bad? Look, he's so sunburned. <laughs> Just remember, Elko, you did it to me. You did it, it's your fault. The great state, and this is really a great state, was settled by tough pioneer men and strong pioneer women. And I'll add strong and beautiful pioneer women. And I'll also add who are tougher than the men, actually. <laughs> who took the risks and defied the dangers to build a life, a home, and to build a dream. You didn't have a lot of money they didn't have a lot of luxury, but they all had one thing in common. They loved their families, they loved their country, and they loved their God. These courageous Nevada patriots did not shed their blood, sweat, and tears so that we could sit at home while others erase the legacy, and destroy our proud American heritage. That's what they're doing. They want to destroy our American heritage. For the sake of our freedom, for the sake of our children, we are going to work, we are going to fight, and we are going to win, win, win. Very simple.
We're going to keep winning to win. Nothing like winning, folks. Nothing like winning. We will not bend. We will not break. We will never give in. We will never give up. We will never back down. We will never surrender. And we will always go on to victory. Because we are Americans. And our hearts bleed red, white, and blue. We are one people, one family, and one glorious nation under God. And together we will be so proud. We will be so proud. How proud are we? Are we proud? You know, America is respected again. I was at the United Nations and the leaders of the countries were coming up to me, countries that couldn't have cared less. And they're saying, I must tell you, Mr. President, America is respected again. So we're going to go on and we will make America wealthy again. We will make America strong again. We will make America safe again. And we will make America great again. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you, Elko. Thank you.